Who doesn't love succulent grilled shrimp fajitas? Well, that's what we're making today. And they are not only delicious, but they are very easy to make. We can put this together in about 15 minutes, 20 tops. And for our veggies, I'm using the traditional onion and bell pepper, but I'm also adding some zucchini as well, which really is a nice addition. We're gonna season this up with just enough heat so that you know it's there, but it won't scare anybody off. And then I'm gonna finish it off with a homemade avocado cream drizzle that you are gonna love. I'm gonna be placing my fajitas in some flour tortillas, but for those of us that are gluten-free, we can use siete almond flour tortillas, which works out just great. I'm gonna show you how to make all this right after my chef joke. Stay tuned. I'd like to start off here before we get into our recipe with my chef joke. I have another one a little bit later, so hang in there for that. Okay, what do you call a shrimp that always gets injured? Accident prawn. <laughs> We're gonna start off by getting our shrimp ready because I'm using frozen shrimp. You could use fresh if you want, but frozen is very convenient. So I'm using the 21 by uh, to 25 count per pound. I'm gonna toss these in a strainer and run them under some cold water. My shrimp have the tail and the shell on, so I'm gonna have to clean that off. I've got my shrimp laid out here on a paper towel covered plate and we'll take off those shells. We'll start by just peeling off the shell with your fingers and I like to take the tail off too so I don't have to deal with any kind of shell when I'm eating the dish. Luckily, my shrimp were labeled as easy peel, so it made cleaning these very easy and quick. Once you've got the shrimp all cleaned, then pat it dry with some paper towels. That way you know the, all the spices will stick. In the meantime, I'm going to cover these with some plastic wrap and place them in the fridge to keep them cold. Now we want to prep up our veggies. I've got two organic bell peppers here that are red, red or sweeter than, say, the green, so I like to use those, and they're colorful. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these up into strips about a quarter of an inch thick. And we're gonna do basically the same thing with a yellow onion. Now here's my non-traditional vegetable in this recipe and you're gonna love it, it's zucchini. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to cut off the ends and then we're gonna cut it in half. I'm gonna cut this in half again and then I'm gonna cut it into strips that are pretty much the same size as the bell pepper and the onion. We'll place everything in a bowl and then we'll make our seasoning. To my measuring cup, I'm adding about a quarter of a cup, a little bit over, of olive oil. Now here's our spices. We've got some ground cumin, smoked paprika, onion powder, oregano, chipotle chili powder, salt, and pepper. Now remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. Just click down there where it says show more. Now we're gonna place all these spices into the olive oil. Now I like to mix it up a little bit before I add the rest of the ingredients. Now we're gonna take a nice fresh lime and give it a little roll on the cutting board to release those juices. Now I'm gonna squeeze the juice of this whole lime into our sauce. Next comes some minced garlic, four cloves in fact. Once all the garlic's in, we'll mix it up again. You'll notice how nice and thick this is getting. We're gonna take this sauce, give it a stir, make sure everything's well mixed, and we're gonna pour half of it over the veggies. Okay, so that looks like about half. Now let's give that a good toss to coat. Now it's time to make our avocado cream sauce. So what I have here in the bowl is some avocado mayo by Primal Kitchen and some organic plain yogurt. And to this I'm gonna add some chipotle chili powder and some garlic powder. Next I have some fresh lemon juice, Worcestershire sauce, half of an avocado and a pinch of salt. Now with the avocado here, since I'm not using a food processor, I decided to cut it up into little chunks and then toss it in and use a masher and it works out just fine. Here's that pinch of salt and then we'll chop up some parsley and add that as well. 
and then I'll mash it up. Now I'll add a small handful of Italian parsley chopped up, and if you're a fan of cilantro, you can use that as well. We'll give that a stir, and then we'll add our final ingredient. Now who can tell me what this final ingredient is? You can leave your guess down in the, in the comments, and you can find the answer in the description where the written recipe is. Check it out. Now it's time to marinate the shrimp. I'm going to place it in a bowl and add the rest of that sauce to the shrimp and stir to combine. Here we go with chef joke number two. What did tortillas sing at birthday parties? Fajita jolly good fellow. <laughs> okay, we're ready to start cooking. I've got a cast iron pan. If you have a cast iron pan, please use it. You'll get the best results. All right, I've got it over at medium high heat and we're gonna be cooking the vegetables first because they take a little bit longer than the shrimp. The shrimp are only gonna take like one to two minutes per side. So you wanna have your veggies done first because you know they take longer. And that way your shrimp doesn't get cold sitting around. So I'm putting just a little bit of olive oil in the pan to coat it. Once it's hot, let me give those veggies another little quick stir. And we're gonna to toss those in. We're gonna cook these for about eight to 10 minutes. Remember on medium high heat, we want these to get a little browned up. Now while the fajitas are cooking, you're gonna to wanna to heat up some tortillas so they're ready to go when you wanna put this together. Now a tortilla oven like I have here is the way to go. Uh, they keep the tortillas warm for about 30 minutes, so it's great for when you have a good big group. And I'll leave a link in the description for you if you wanna pick one of those up. Okay, after about 10 minutes or so and your veggies start to look like this where they softened up and they have some nice brown color to them, it's time to take them off, put them into a bowl, and keep them warm. And you might want to cover the veggies by just laying a piece of foil over the top of it to keep the heat in. Now in this same pan over medium-high heat, we're going to place the shrimp right in there and get it going. Now remember, you're only cooking this for one minute to two minutes per side. Okay, it's been almost two minutes. These guys are ready to be turned over. Okay, you want to flip these over kind of quick. Once you get them all turned, then you're going to probably be taking them right off. What you don't want to do is to overcook these because then they'll turn, they'll get real rubbery and, and it won't be very good. And go ahead and place your shrimp in the same bowl as your veggies. Okay, got my flour tortillas. They stay nice and warm. First, we'll add a scoop of veggies. And then I'm going to add three shrimp to each tortilla. And then we finish it off with our avocado cream sauce. Now I heated up a Siete almond flour tortilla and made my taco with that, heating it just the same as a regular flour tortilla and it works out great. Three shrimps for me and some of that beautiful avocado cream sauce. Oh man, that is so good. I cannot believe it. It is just delicious. That sauce really makes it. You got to try this. I'm going back for that second bite. It is so good. You've got that subtle hint of smoky heat and spices, the sweetness from the onions and the bell peppers, and the avocado cream sauce ties everything together. If you like tacos, then you might be interested in trying my taco casserole. Check this thing out. It is easy to do. You can serve a lot of people and it is, of course, delicious. Click the link to watch that video. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button for me, okay? Leave me a comment and we'll see you back here next week for another rockin' recipe.